Hello, hello, beautiful souls. We are back. I hope you're all doing super well today. And I hope you've been doing super well over the last handful of weeks that I've been AWOL. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for your patience. Um, I know I've been gone a while. It's been like four weeks. Um, for those of you who are in the Discord community, um, then you'll know why I've been gone. Um, for those of you who aren't, uh, why not? Um, link is down in the description below. Come join our community. Um, so for those of you who aren't and, and you've no idea why I've been AWOL, um, I've been taking a vacation, um, which was a bit impromptu because Matilda, my PC, just completely died. Um, and I had a new PC on order and it took about four weeks um, to arrive. So I took it as a sign from Spirit and I took the opportunity to take a well-needed vacation. Um, I haven't really taken any kind of break from, um, from work for about two years, so it was definitely well-needed. I'm feeling super refreshed and now we're back. I now have the PC of my dreams. Uh, Evelyn, if you want to check out um, the new PC and, and specs and all that stuff, um, then hop on over to Instagram. Again, link is in the description below. Um, there's some photos and things on there of shiny new Evelyn. She's running smoothly and sweetly, so I'm now back to work. So thank you again, everybody, for your patience. Um, I didn't mean to be gone so long, but as I say, it was definitely well needed. So as it's been four weeks, we are going to do a kind of spiritual recap. We're going to catch up on ourselves and uh, and see where we currently are. Um, I did a little mini version of this um, on Twitch on Monday, so last week, um, or this week. Monday just gone. Where are we? <laughs> Monday just gone. Um, so if you want to check that out as well, um, the VOD is now up on YouTube um, for your viewing pleasure. Um, but this will be a, a full a full reading, so we're just going to throw some cards out, see what we get, and then we'll start looking at heart space, mental space, and physical space for the collective. Um, and like I say, we'll just kind of catch up on ourselves and see where we're at. So, <clears throat> we've got Desert, Vision Quest. Um, so, we are in a state of ebb at the moment. Um, we have moved into this more action orientated energy. Um, for those of you who've been following my readings, then you'll know that we are, um, as of May, uh, we moved into a more action orientated um, state of being. And um, we were very much in flow. Lots of people were experiencing lots of things changing and moving forward in their physical reality when it hadn't really for a while. Um, I know I sound like a broken record, but when the Great Conjunction happened and the Winter Solstice on the same day, which was December 21st of 2020, everything just kind of slowed, well, it didn't slow down, it stopped, right? Um, there wasn't really much going on in the physical space um, for a lot of people. We all moved into this kind of energy, um, this sort of frozen, inward, introspective um, vision quest kind of energy. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then um, we moved into um, a, a completely different energetic phase um, around the beginning of May. Um, which, as I say, it was a lot more action orientated. Things started moving forward in the physical reality. Everything was was um, very uh, focused within the physical space. So we'd done our introspection, and we'd um, we we did a lot of heart chakra activation. Um, whether you were consciously indulging in these activities and you know, meditation, self-care and all this kind of stuff to, to help that along or not. It didn't really make any difference. It was still happening anyway in the inner world. Um, <clears throat> so things have been moving forward 
in the physical reality over the last month, right? I mean, we're we're in the middle of June now, um, and I know I haven't been around for this, but we we I mean, we're going to look at um, sort of past-ish energy anyway. Um, to be honest, this reading is going to encompass um, past, present, future as well, although we're not going to focus on that too much. Don't forget your tea. Um, so now we've moved into this state of ebb, right? Um, we've been in a flow state since the beginning of May. Um, we've been in that flow state up until perhaps a couple of weeks ago. So you may have noticed that things have just really slowed down in the physical reality for you um, over the last couple of weeks. And now we're in this more introspective state again. Um, this is just a, we're going to call it like a mini ebb, right? Because um, we are generally speaking in an action orientated energetic phase right now, which is going to take us all the way through until October of 2021. So we're, we're still going to experience ebbs and flows within this energetic phase and right now we're in an ebb so this is necessary again those of you who follow my readings then you already know this because we talk about this a fair amount that we we need states of ebb between the states of flow because we need that time to catch our breath to take stock to um, understand and, and process uh, what we've experienced in the physical space otherwise we would just be kind of nervous wrecks right because everything would just be happening like bum 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 like constantly and we wouldn't have any time to really think about what's happening process what's happening so this is the state um, that we're finding ourselves in right now and have done for the last couple of weeks now we are on the brink of the next flow state um, so this reading couldn't have come at a better time, really. Um, obviously it's been out of my hands because I've been waiting for a PC to arrive to be able to get back to these readings, but that in itself, um, kind of shows, doesn't it, that we're moving back into a flow state. I am in, um, unison with the collective. Maybe things happen for me a little bit, um, sooner. Um, I am a little bit ahead of the collective as an energy worker, so we can certainly expect for the collective as a whole, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to start moving back into flow state. But we'll cross those bridges when we get there, right? Because uh, we'll be doing these readings every week. This one's a little bit special because this is a catch up. But on Monday, for Mystical Monday, and every Monday after that, um, we will be doing, um, you know, our vibe check kind of check in readings. So um by the way subscribe and slap the bell in the face if you haven't done that already so you can um stay in touch with these readings Ooh, okay we've got two just f uh, three even three have just flown out here okay so we've got this is this is really interesting right okay this speaks to um heart space obviously right we've got a heart here love compassion mental space wolf instinct which kind of uh looks at this vision quest card here as well and then we've got ceremony and vocation physical space <laughs> completely unintentional but this is what we've got um so we'll dig into this a little bit deeper in a in a moment excuse me sorry i've been drinking tea like crazy as always okay so Okay, so we can see here that heart space is actually very balanced, right? Again, we'll dig into these a bit deeper in a moment, but heart space is pretty balanced. We've got this love and compassion um, energy flowing forth. We're ready to share it, right? We've got these two hands here kind of sharing this energy together. Then we've got the mental space here, this wolf instinct. Um, this is showing us that we're um we're in acceptance right of of uh of the energies that we're surrounded by we're in acceptance 
of um, the vision quest and the ebb that we're currently in. We're in acceptance of how our lives are, how they were, more importantly, and how we want them and hence how they are going to be. So this is very, very healthy. And then we've got here for the physical space, we've got ceremony and vocation. Now this um, is the manifestation card in this particular deck, or the way that it works for me as a reader. Whenever this card shows up, we can see that um, we're putting in the the mental and the energetic effort and the physical effort that's required to manifest the things that we desire. So this is also showing us that what I just said a moment ago, how we're on the brink of moving into the next flow state, this is confirmed right here, seeing this. So we can see that things are not yet manifesting, but they are going to because of the state of mind and the energetic state that we are individually in within ourselves, right? This is why vision quest time and this introspection ebb time is so essential because it gives us that opportunity to sit and think about where we've been and where we are and hence where we're going. This helps us to um, decide what we want so that we're not just at the mercy of life, right? And how many times in the course of your life have you felt that you've just been at the mercy of it? All of these things keep happening. It's not fair. I, I, you know, I, I'm not getting the things that I want. It's because you're not taking the time to sit and really think about things, to take stock, to decide what you want for yourself. So this ebb time that we're in right now is really lending itself to that so that when we move into the, the next state of flow next couple of weeks or over the next couple of weeks you'll have a much better idea as to where you want to go and you will go there you will end up there now that we're in this um action orientated uh energetic state or phase uh, as i keep saying um which will take us through until october so we've still got a good couple of months to go um this energetic phase is for us to lay a foundation for us to have the things that we want in the physical reality. Next year, as I said, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But next year is um, when we're actually going to be living the lives that we want. As long as we're moving with the, the energy, you know, we're working with these energies and we're not resisting them. If you're resisting them, then you're not, right? You're not going to be where you want to be. But as long as you're paying attention to these energies um, and to the energies as and when they're happening and you're working with them, not against them, then you have every good chance of being exactly where you want to be, um, you know, next year when the, uh, the energetic climate is in support of us having everything that we desire. So let's pop these over here. Okay, let's use that as like our talisman energy, right? And let's have a look at heart space, mental space and physical space. Let's just really dig into this a little bit deeper. Um, so let's see uh what we got here right let's see what needs to be done shall we let's start with heart space and and we'll we'll go through them in a bit of a uniform sort of fashion so we can keep track of ourselves here so let's see um let's see what work needs to be done for heart space right for the collective what do we need to focus on what would be really beneficial to us to focus on what needs to be done what action needs to be taken we'll take this as a uh, constructive criticism right all right so we've got the lady of the mirror 
reflection, non-judgment, we've also got card number 44, which is um, the divine number for support and guidance. So we need to be taking a, a deeper look at ourselves, right? We need to really be taking time to process our emotions. Not being in avoidance. I've been seeing this a lot um, over the last week since I came back uh, to working. Because I, I haven't done any readings for the whole time I've been on vacation. I've just deliberately stayed away from um, <laughs> from all of this stuff. And I've just been like hashtag self-caring all over the place. Um <clears throat> But since I've been back and I've been doing readings and things, um, this seems to be a running theme for a lot of people. So no wonder it's it's uh, shown up for our collective reading, right? Um, there's a lot of you who are in avoidance of how you feel. You've been distracting yourself. You've been doing it consciously and deliberately uh, where something's happened. Maybe there's been a death. Um, there's been a significant change that you didn't instigate um <clears throat> now the thing is you have to trust right as shitty as these things might be on the surface level at the time of it happening there is always a greater reason and purpose for it right and i can use myself as an example here most of you already know this um, but those of you who don't and even if you do right little reminder back in 2017 my dad passed away and my whole world just completely obliterated, right? Right in front of me. I lost my home. I lost my, my career. I lost just everything. I lost so many things. People, stuff and things. And I wouldn't be where I am right now. I would be somewhere, I can tell you categorically, I would be somewhere so, so different right now, this moment even. I would still be with, you know, if my dad hadn't passed away, right? He was the catalyst. His death was the catalyst for so much change. And as much as it was absolutely really shitty, and it's still absolutely really shitty that I don't have my dad with me anymore, I can now, I can look back and I can understand that as awful as that time was of losing my dad and then all of the consequent things that happened, it was so necessary for my growth. It was necessary for me to be where I am. And as much as I miss my dad, me just in myself and the path that I'm on right now, I am so much happier than than where I would be if all of those things hadn't happened so you know and and on top of that I mean obviously my situation is unique everybody's situation is unique to them um death is inevitable everyone's got to die at some point right if someone's going to die may as well learn something from that event yes and that's something that I certainly did. It took me a long fucking time <laughs> to embrace it as something positive, believe me. Um, but now that I have, you know, I'm I'm so much happier with where I'm at right now. The Cosmos Collective, this community, me doing readings, us being here together right now on YouTube, absolutely would not be happening if those things hadn't happened, right? So... I reflected, right? I took time to to reflect in a very non-judgmental way, just looking at it at face value. And it was a very healing. It was difficult, right? I'm not I'm not going to lie to you. It was it was hard. It was really hard just taking that real very real look at myself in the mirror, having a real look at my life. And seeing, you know, all the all my flaws, right? And seeing all the things that I failed at. And but through looking at those things, I was able to see what I truly desire, what would actually make me happy, where I can move forward from here, right? So I'm seeing within the collective, um, just lately, that there's a lot of you who are in avoidance where something really shitty has happened and 
you you're avoiding it you're avoiding it by keeping yourself busy right you're working really really hard you're doing like extra hours so that you're not sat around thinking and crying and being sad right and processing but the thing is it's necessary right so just take just an hour that's all you need a day right just turn netflix off <laughs> put your phone down go and hold yourself up just you just me myself and i or go outside into nature go for a, a walk in in woodland or along the beach or around a lake or whatever is available to you if you're in a city just take a day to get on a train or get in the car or get on a bus right and go off to the outskirts of the city where there's fields and there's forests and there's nature take the time invest in yourself your heart space is really screaming out for it for those of you that i'm talking to anyway you know there's going to be some of you who are watching this reading right now where you feel that this doesn't apply in which case just take this as an excuse to indulge in some self-care right we all need it whether you got something going on right now or you don't you still need time to yourself me every morning i go and take little lotorama potato doggo out into nature and we you know i have a little chat with myself even though i don't have anything really going on right now that's harrowing or upsetting you know i still take that time for myself and because of that i'm very balanced right i'm not trying to toot my own horn here i'm just using myself as an example that you know so that hopefully you guys can see what what i'm uh what, what i mean right um <clears throat> so lady of the mirror right just take some time you deserve it take some time to to take stock okay it's very rewarding yes it's hard but it is very rewarding and i will just put this out there if if any of you are going through a thing and you feel like you need some support and you're struggling with it come and join our discord community um if i'm not around there are moderators who are around who can support you there's always someone around to talk to right you can just slide into dms and be like hey i'm having a hard time with things my ego is being really chatty i feel really sad i can't stop crying i feel really angry i don't know how to di redirect it into something constructive whatever it may be there's always someone around the moderators are specifically chosen for their um you know their positive qualities right and everyone is um I'm, i will say not we're not professionally trained right we don't have certificates and doctorates and stuff but we are trained to deal with people who are going through something quite harrowing and and disturbing and upsetting all right so if you do need some support you feel that you're struggling to do it on your own come and join discord link is in the description below and and talk right talking therapies it's it it works wonders just to talk to someone even if you don't receive advice if you want advice you can get that too okay so let's see what else we've got in the heart space right now for the collective also don't forget your tea Okay, maybe we've got the wrong deck yeah we'll come back to that deck in a moment let's try the star seed oracle Oop. okay all right we've got fall into my arms surrender holding the opposites extremes of life this just echoes everything i just said all right by the way, I know I said this when I first pulled the card, but I will just draw our attention back to it just very quickly. 44, all right. Support and guidance, divine number of support and guidance. Your guides, the divine spirit, source, whatever you want to call it, has got your back, 
okay so you can fall into my arms all right not my arms necessarily if you want to come join the discord then sure right my arms are wide open but this is speaking more to um the arms of spirit right this surrender the extremes of life right what this this is just all this card is doing right now is reiterating everything that i've just said um so we won't continue to focus on this but surrender right just just surrender to to taking this time for yourself so that you can reflect and it's important that you do it in a non-judgmental way um because you're not you know it's not healthy obviously to just beat yourself up over things that have happened or things that you've done you know we all fuck up we all make mistakes it's part of being human the key is that you learn from those mistakes and you don't repeat them right if you're repeating them then you're stuck in a cycle likely you're not taking time to figure it out you're not taking time for yourself to um you know to to see where the cycle keeps repeating itself like what at what point do you start to repeat your if you're in if you're in that kind of endless cycle it's because you're um you're not taking that time right to to break it and to understand it here we go again right time for healing so uh yeah let's do that right so a time for healing so there it is again right it's it's all just more of the same um so last card we'll just dip into uh the cosmic cloud oracle Oops. focus right this is a fire card so spirit is really asking um or pointing out you know it, i mean it's up to you if you want to actually take the advice or not right it's up to you if you want to work you have the freedom to decide for yourself whether you want to work with the energies or not it's your prerogative to to be like nah i'm not going to do that <laughs> uh not advisable but still you have the freedom to choose um focus to just just take this time right i'm not trying to sound like a broken record and keep repeating myself here but this message is so loud and clear heart space the the uh the healthiest thing for heart space right now whilst we're in this vision quest energy and we're in this state of um of ebb is to um and and to grow love and compassion for ourselves right so that we can start sharing it with the people around us is to become more self-aware take time for yourself heal surrender focus on you just you fuck everyone else this isn't about them this is about you take time for yourself it's important so let's have a look at mental space then let's see where the conscious awareness lies let's see um oh, okay then <laughs> all right so we've got the desert prince survival and false promises right a lot of you are in ego um that makes sense given uh what we've just looked at for heart space heart space is where it starts this is where the soul resides this is where our true desires um are are born right um then mental space is where it becomes conscious and then physical space which we'll get to in a moment is where it then manifests within the physical reality you create your own reality by just purely how you feel how you feel becomes a thought, becomes stuff and things. This is why we read it in this order, so that we can see where the root of things are. And the root right now for a lot of you is you're not spending time on yourselves. You're in avoidance of how you feel. This is so unhealthy, you guys. But we don't want to repeat that, right? So for mental space then, survival and false promises. This is avoidance this is being in ego the desert prince right there's a couple of things here divine masculine that's ego um not completely so but when we see masculine with regards to ego 
you know the uh the ego resides in divine masculine energy not divine feminine energy um we have a prince here not a king i feel like that's significant because <clears throat> The prince is learning to be a king, you know, the prince is at some point going to be a king, traditionally speaking. Um, so we can see here that this is like, <laughs> forgive the way I'm going to word this, but hopefully you'll you'll follow uh, wh where I'm going with this. Um, this is like little boy energy, not man, not like grown up man energy, you know what I mean? Um, so I, I feel that this is... And really, ego is a little boy, right? Because ego is is scared, he's learning, he's, he's frightened, he doesn't know what to do, he needs leadership. Um, and when he tries to lead, he's like a, a child king, right? And we all know that that never fucking works out. When we see child kings portrayed in movies, doesn't it all go just horribly, horribly wrong? right he's normally spoiled he just fucks everything up he has no compassion um he does not value life he's just sentencing everybody to death left right and center right you guys know what i'm talking about so that's ego when he's in charge so right now we're just we're seeing this um I, I feel also the desert is significant too because there's no respite is there's desert all around there's there's no the the this is what i feel for a lot of you the mental state that you're in is that this um and i don't mean this in a harmful way at all um but this kind of childish really desperately trying to take control but you're wandering around in this desert there's no water you're completely parched right you need something you need help you need leadership you need guidance but you feel like you're just stranded right you're stranded in this desert you're in a survival mindset because of it and this false promises is you keep telling yourself um that everything's fucked right when that's so far from the actual truth everything is not fucked you're fine you're fine this is a matter of perspective your perspective is not in the right place and that's because you're ignoring um this right here that's in your heart space heart space is screaming out i just need some time right so stop the avoidance so we can see that this is why um, some of you are in the, the mental state that you're in, okay? If you feel, right, I, I feel that this reading is getting very, very specific, right? Um, I find that as a reader, this, this re collective readings get very specific um, at times when there are little pockets of the collective that just really needs to hear a, a particular message and they're not getting it from anywhere else. So if you feel that this reading is now not talking about you, then that's totally fine, okay? We can, hiya, a little potato, come to say hello. Um, then, then disregard this, right? May, maybe continue to watch and just take bits of advice from it right because it might not be talking to you but it's still good information either way or perhaps check out the um the mystical monday reading uh that's coming in in the next couple of days right it's entirely up to you but if you feel that this isn't this uh this reading just isn't for you and you can't relate to it like i say it's still good information either way because we all fall off the wagon at one point or another me included right sometimes i work so hard i don't take time for myself and then i end up getting into ego because of it so it's still good information right let's um let's see what else we've got here then for mental space All right, we've got breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. Okay, right. Spirit is right there 
doing its absolute best, as it always does, um, to help you to relax, to help us to relax, right? To help us to relax and to surrender, as we saw here, um, and to heal and to focus on ourselves. So rest assured that spirit has your back, no matter what tizzy you get yourself into right in your headspace um energetically spirit has always got your back and like i said this is a this is just a, a case of misdirected perspective that's all it is you're fine if you really take an objective look at your life you know you're fine you don't need to be in survival mode okay your life it, it, your life is not at risk um Whoa, hello um you know chances are you have food to eat you have clothes to wear you have water to drink you have a roof over your head you have somewhere safe to reside um you have people around you who can support you if you say to me well alice actually no i don't have anyone who can support me bullshit get yourself into the discord there's hundreds of people in there who are ready to support you me included i'm supporting you right now doing this reading okay so don't you try and tell me that you don't have anyone who cares about you i care about you if i didn't care about you i wouldn't be doing this reading so bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius beautiful 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 okay so love yourself more you guys okay love yourself more your ego's not going to do it <laughs> Uh, ego doesn't really know how to love it knows how to depend on how to attach itself to and how to get clingy but it doesn't know how to really truly love because to love is to set that object of your affection free it's to allow it to be free to express itself right it's not love if you're saying to your partner where are you going who who are you with <laughs> who's she <laughs> right that's not love all right that is egoic dependency. That's fear. So bring some more love into the situation. Love yourself. Love the people around you. Set them free. Set yourself free. And this new moon, you know, new moon, obviously, we're looking at new beginnings. New start. Fresh start. Fresh page. Fresh chapter. Fresh book, right? And Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign, so we're looking at um, depending on how you want to look at it, actually. I was going to say we, we're in divine uh, feminine energy. Could be seen as divine masculine energy as we're in mental space. Uh, that's the suit of swords and the tarot. It's all so intermingled, it's difficult to pull apart sometimes and really analyse. So we won't try to. Um, but Aquarius, we're an air sign. So, you know, this is fresh ideas. This is um, This is fire. This is wisdom this is um you know aquarius is a bit kind of quirky as well a bit nerdy right um so really thinking outside of the box uh trendsetter doing things differently to the norm and and to the majority um forging new paths um so we can take this as, as advice right um, if things aren't working for you, then do, then start doing things differently. And there's nothing scary about that. All it is is just the unknown. But it's trial and error, right? So things aren't working for you the way that they are. Just try doing something differently. Try getting up in the morning at a different time. Try getting up a little bit earlier. Don't sleep in so late, right? That's a that's a huge thing that that people can be doing if you're feeling depressed, right? Um, change your diet start going outside more you know if you're hanging around with people that just bring you down stop hanging out with them find new friends fucking go on tinder right tinder a lot of people use it for dating and just to hook up but there's a lot of people on there as well who are just looking to make friends go and join a website go and join a, a, a forum for something that you're interested in right maybe you're a bit of a weeb go and join an anime forum right there's so many things you can do join find a go and have a look at um public discord servers right start hanging out with people who are like you who are good for you 
that there's there's this thing right i forget where i read it or saw it or heard it but someone somewhere said right and it was very good advice to spend time with people who are the same as you and who are where you're at right because through those people you find comfort that they're experiencing the same things as you find people who are also sorry start that again also spend time with people who are where you want to be because they can help you to get to where you want to be because they're already there they can give you advice they can bring you along they can support you but also spend just maybe 10 percent of your time with people who are let's say behind you right who are still walking the path that you've already walked because you can gain a lot of satisfaction and positivity and self-belief from helping other people to get to where you're currently at so surrounding yourself with all these different types of people but you want to spend 70 percent of your time with people who are where you want to be they're ahead of you on that journey because they can support you, they can they can give you access to valuable resources. They can inspire you. Let's say seventy percent of your time with people who are where you want to be. Twenty percent um, of your time with people who are where you currently are, and ten percent of your time with people who are behind you in the journey. So. Let's pull our last card for uh, Mountain Spaces. Reading is getting really long. Okay, beautiful. Right, we've got a timeline shift here. Um, this is the uh, the suit of uh, spirit. This uh, this particular card. So timeline shift. Okay, so there's lots of changes happening. Um, be it this reading that's the catalyst for that change whatever i don't want to take credit i just want people to feel better right i want people to be living their best life and being the best version of themselves whether it's this that's the catalyst or it's something else maybe you take some advice from from this reading uh, you take something positive from this reading and you go and make positive changes in your life right really at the end of it all it's you that made the effort it's you that put the changes into place it's you that made it happen um you are going to bring about a timeline shift um for yourself so well done in, in advance right um well done for putting in the effort right i know you guys can do it i know that you can bring about this positive change for you for yourself a change in perspective is a change in your reality a change in your perspective is a change in your reality it is that simple so let's have a look at physical space then. Um, I feel like now is the right time to be looking at physical space. Especially as we're in this, um, not only because of all this, right? Um, but also, oh, hello, okay. Um, but also because we are in action-orientated energy. Yes, we're in a little pocket ebb right now, but we're about to move into flow. So we've got the Hawk Prince. See how we've got 44? Okay, we've got 19. I'm not disregarding that necessarily, but we've got 44 and we've got 11, right? So we've got two dual numbers there. 11, the divine number for new beginnings. <laughs> how beautiful is that? The Hawk Prince. The Hawk um, represents spiritual communication which we see here anyway spirit communication and paying attention so this is also focus the hawk is very very focused um as a spirit animal it's very focused um also represents spiritual communication but also good communication between you and, and the people around you although i feel that right now this um is more speaking to excuse the pun um spiritual communication so communication between yourself right being honest with yourself but also communication between you and spirit so excuse me if you feel that you are just totally fucking lost you have no idea what you're doing where you're going where, where you're headed you've just completely lost yourself right meditate i can't stress this enough meditation just puts you right 
but it needs to be consistent. <laughs> okay, and I know this is a this is the thing that a lot of people struggle with is the consistency. So make it part of your daily routine, and then you won't ever miss it. Um, you'll find it a lot easier to create consistency when you make something part of your routine. Um, the hard part is making it your routine to begin with. Once it's part of your routine, then you're golden. So maybe, I know, God forbid, right? But get up half an hour earlier in the morning. Get up half an hour earlier. Do your normal morning routine when you first get out of bed and then just add in half an hour of meditation. Just 30 minutes of your daily life is fuck all, all right? You can do it. Don't tell me that you can't do it or you don't have time. 30 minutes, all right? It's absolutely fuck all, right? You, you, do, you can make this time. Go to bed 30 minutes later, right? There you go. You've, you've, you've made up the time. So within a physical space, then, we have this communication. So I feel that there are a lot of positive changes that that are happening. I mean, we've seen this here anyway. A lot of you are thinking about it. You're thinking, you're thinking, you know, I, I want to make some positive changes. You're going to. You are going to. Um, and I feel that within your physical space, these positive changes are really going to reflect on your mental health, um, the way that you view yourself. Again, we're looking at perspective. We're, we're talking about perspective, right? Um, so let's see what else we've got. Worth looking, actually, uh, look it up. What, uh, the hawk or the eagle um what what it means um as a spirit animal or a totem animal um because there's other things there's other qualities as well as a spirit animal that i haven't um mentioned because i felt that it's not particularly relevant right now but for those of you who do go and look <laughs> um you you will find um positive things to take um useful and constructive things to take from um the other hawk spirit animal qualities so go go and look it up um called soul gifts and training it's time to step up <laughs> wonderful okay so yeah there we go i mean that speaks for itself really doesn't it um you do have um soul gifts you do you do have training. This is not your first human life. If you're watching this reading, this is definitely not your first human life. Um, souls who are new to being human are completely switched off from the witchy woo. Um, they they have to follow the the human uh, path, which is to be <laughs> Neanderthals um, and to be very closed off to the the spiritual. Um, so, you know, if you're reading this, uh, if you're watching this reading and, um, you're like hella into this information, um, this is definitely not your first human life. You've had many of them, maybe hundreds. I mean, I don't want to put a number on it cause everyone's different, but there's been multiple, there's been fucking loads, right? Um, so you've been training, you've been training for this awakening and this self-realization. That's what each human life has um, contributed to. For you to wake up, for you to understand yourself, for you to gain this higher perspective on your life, um, on your soul journey. You don't have to remember your lives. You just need to... Um, we we you know we've come back full circle you just need to look at yourself because you in your true state of being when you're truly happy um that that right there is the culmination of all of those human lives that's the end result so far um of your experiences all of them so you are being called right now to step up and to reacquaint yourself with yourself, to heal, to surrender, to breathe in the cosmos, to love yourself more, 
to let go of ego, to communicate better with, um, with spirit, and to shift yourself into the timeline of your choosing. Not one that you think that you deserve to be on, right? Because that can be very negative. But to be on the timeline that you desire, the one you really, truly desire for yourself. You deserve it. And you are, we can see here, that you are waking up to your true nature. You are waking up to your gifts. You're getting ready to share them with the physical space, to share them with the reality, uh, <laughs> with the collective, and to bring them into reality. So, let's see what else we got. there's the good news okay <laughs> the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn so capricorn we've got an earth sign um full moon is the end it's the end of a cycle full moon is the culmination it's the result it's the end it's the death um capricorn earth sign so physical space again Things are a-changing, you guys. So, last card. Let's wrap this up. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> Revelation. Fire again. More fire. Revelation, there's a lot of revelation and realisation going on here. So, I mean, I don't really need to say, to, uh, say much else, do I? I mean, that really speaks for itself right there. So, I really hope that this guides you well, everybody. You know, I, I hope that this makes sense to you. I hope you can take something positive from this. And remember that, you know, you, you absolutely have the the strength and the capacity to change your life you do and to change yourself and to be the best version of yourself have more faith in yourself i have faith in you you were born to be the best version of yourself you were you were given the you have been given and you have learned all of the tools that you need to create the reality of your choosing. So I will love and leave you guys. I will see you in the next video, um, which will be, I don't know, Monday, I think at this rate, Mystical Monday. Um, come join us on Twitch if you want um, a, a reading for yourself. We do live uh readings we do vibe check readings um i do aura readings um and you know we talk about spiritual things um together as a community so come join us links in the description below for twitch i stream every monday for mystical monday um so you know come join us um come and come and be an active part of our beautiful cosmos collective community um, so yeah, I will love and leave you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember that you are loved, you are supported, and you are important. I'll see you guys in the next one.